and welcome to the library tutorial on the journal locator. The journal locator is arguably one of the library's most awesome and underutilized feature. It's the definitive source that tells you not only what journals the library holds, but also all of the ways to access them. The program also has a few more bells and whistles that we'll also get into. So first, how to access the journal locator. You start from the library homepage, and then from there, you choose the box on the upper right that indicates journals and e-journals. This will launch you into what we refer to as the journal locator. So here, you can begin to search by any journal, whether the library holds it or not, it will tell you. So I'm going to look first for the Chronicle of Higher Education. And as I start typing, you can see that it begins to prompt. I choose this example because the library has access to it in many different formats. So the center of the page will bring up any record that contains the title. And then within that, you'll see the date ranges that are held, and then where they're held, how you can access them. So this ProQuest Social Sciences Premium Collection shows that, it's one, that we hold it from 1988 to one month ago, and then five months ago in ProQuest Central. When you see something like this, this is referred to as an embargo, which means that the publisher has chosen to withhold a certain limit of current full text to a particular resource. You can see, though, that we have access to the Chronicle of Education uh, to present in two different resources. One is on the Chronicle of Higher Education platform itself, and the other is in Nexus Uni which is formerly LexisNexis. Here we have even more choices to choose from uh, out of several other da databases. And then lastly, the library also holds the Chronicle of Education in print. And so it tells you that we have the last three months to present in our periodicals department. And so really what it depends on is what time period do you need? If, you're, if you want to see what's happening today, probably the easiest thing to do would be to look on the publisher's platform. Or you could search in, or, in article format in LexisNexis. However, if you needed something older, then maybe this would be your choice simply because you were looking for something from the 1980s and it wasn't available from any of the other resources. Okay. So let's try another one now. So I'm going to put in, I'm going for art therapy. And this is where it's prompting you anything that has the word art therapy in it, it's coming up with. So there are a couple of features that I wanted to show you that we could see from this journal. First of all, this is more of a typical response that you might see where it's just available in one or two resources. So in this case, it's available in the CINAHL Nursing Database, which has a 18-month embargo, as I said, uh, which is imposed by the publisher, or it's available directly uh, to the present via the Taylor and Francis uh, current content and access. A couple of other just quick things I wanted to show you is that you can tell at a glance if the journal is peer-reviewed or not. So in this case, you can see that it is. And if you wanted more information, you would choose this toggle. And then it would show you also other things, such as is it open access, how often it's published, and some and a brief description about the content. To get rid of that, you would just close that up. So you can also search within the results because it connects to the JetFind uh, library system that searches all articles. So if you knew you, let's say that your professor said you had to get an article out of the journal Art Therapy. So you would find Art Therapy, 
and then you would simply put in some keywords. So I'm just going to put in autism and choose search. So now what's coming up is everything that's has the word the keyword autism in it that is also contained within the Journal of Art Therapy. So while you can go into the JetFine and narrow to the journal and do this sort of searching on your own and get there in a similar fashion, this is a pretty fast way to get there is simply by going through the journal locator. This concludes part one of our journal locator series. Happy searching!